we see here is um, several uh, several different issues that we've run into before, and uh, I've just compressed this video, essentially playing it and fast forward because these are the exact same errors we've talked about in the previous videos. So if you want, you can actually skip this uh, video here. What, uh, what I wanted to talk about and why I'm leaving it in is just I wanted you to see that it's not always a straightforward process. Sometimes the files that you pulled, since we used the list from a different phone that was similar, but not the same, uh, some of the files we found out were not pulled properly, and some of the files were not where they said they were supposed to be, and some of the files didn't exist at all. So as you go through here, you can see that I'll open up, uh, you know, various uh, files and looking for things and uh, figure out why I'm getting an error for that file not being found. In a lot of cases, the file was um, not in the place it was supposed to be on the phone um, or the place it was on the other phone. So that way I had to actually go find it myself, drag it off the phone and put it into the folder where it belongs. Uh, you can also see I went through the file at one point and just tried to locate all of those um, files to make sure they did in fact exist. And further uh, is making sure that they were in the right spot. And several files didn't exist at all because this, this was a, a folder or a file list for a different phone. So uh, don't be surprised if you see that. Uh, now, with that said, since there were files that were different from phone to phone, um, I may be missing, still missing some of the files that are needed to make this phone work. So something to think about when you're doing this kind of project for yourself Make sure that you get uh, all the files you think you're going to need and then hold on to the rest of the files as a backup like we've done here so that way we can pull more of them after the build is successful. So what will probably happen is when, we're, when we've worked out or ironed out all the bugs and errors to actually build it, there's still going to be errors when we actually um, put it on the phone. And so we're going to be pulling log casts and we're going to be trying to figure out what exactly the problem is and trying to uh, um, get down to, uh, to business on uh, fixing those issues. So it's great to have a full backup of the system files so that way you can go through and uh, grab those at any time. Uh, it's just a little bit handier than having to flash the original ROM back onto your phone so that way you can pull more files from it and then you flash over it with your test, uh, um, your test ROM, and then it doesn't work, and then you have to flash back and forth. This way, what, by just having a backup of it, we can just literally uh, grab the files whenever we want, and we can just continuously flash the custom ROM over and over again with the additions that we've made. So that's pretty handy. Um, just something for you to consider there, and hopefully, uh, you're finding this uh, to be helpful. I also wanted to leave it in here to show you uh, that uh, it's usually not a one-shot deal. No matter how much uh, you know or think you know, you always end up having to go back and get one more thing or do something else. So um, hopefully that was uh, worth worthwhile to leave that in here.